So hey, welcome, or welcome back to my channel, the channel that's been dormant for God knows how long. So today I've come to this mall, and I would like to show you some of the books that I love. I really love. So right now we'll go to the bookstore and we'll see how the books are. Let's go. So the store that I'm about to show you is the store that I'm most likely to go to and buy my books from. And they even have a pretty decent collection of books. So let's go and have a look at the bookstore. So here is a general overview of the books. First up, we have lots of children's stories ranging from ancient folk tales to various short stories for children. Next, they've got The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And as you all must be knowing, it was his death anniversary last week. A bunch of Cassandra Clare books, The Shadow Hunter series. Next up we have G.R.R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire, better known as The Game of Thrones, the complete Harry Potter series, that too in special house editions. And over here we have the Divergent series and the Bartimaeus trilogy. And then we have got an entire row of children's literature. And the thing with these books is that I have never actually read The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Some of my friends have read it and I think I'll have to pick it up someday. <laughs> and over here we have several notebooks, coloring books and word games. And look what I found, a coloring postcard book for the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. It had all our favorite characters from Newt, Lita to Graves and even Jacob. So while we are flipping through this book, why don't you go ahead and drop a like and comment your favorite book. Let's geek out in the comment section. And here we come to the classic section. It had several writers ranging from Shakespeare to Jane Austen to Emily Bronte and many more. And look what I found here, a copy of Goethe's Faust. How cool is that? A beautiful copy of J.D. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye. Several other classic books. Look at this beautiful cover of Dr. Sherlock Holmes. Over here we have got Shakespeare. We have got Lewis Carroll. And just look at this, this beautiful cover of Alice in Wonderland. And over here we can even see the vanishing cat. Just a beautiful cover. They've even got a copy of Sir Walter Scott's Ivanhoe. And several other books, Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence, The Mayor of the Castor Bridge, and what not. And I think one of the best parts of being an English literature student is getting to know about these writers and all of these wonderful books. Look at this collection of Ramindranath Tagore's works. And then the crime, mystery and thriller section is dominated by Agatha Christie books as you all can see over here. And while strolling to the bookstore I found this beautiful cover of Ramindranath Tagore's works of Charles Dickens's Great Expectations, Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind and several works of Mark Twain. And then over here we have a humongous copy of Haruki Murakami's 1Q84. And on the shelf above this we have a couple of Jojo Moyes books, The Life of Pi and The Black Sun by Owen Matthews. And over here we have thrillers like Keeper by Jessica Moore and The Silent Patient. And come on, do I need to say anything more about these books? Next I found this beautiful copy of Robert Louis Stevenson's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde 
and over here we have more classics 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 and classics and on top of this a whole row of sherlock holmes so that was my bookstore log everyone i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed shopping at crossword crossword has always been my one stop shop when it comes to book shopping they have got a wide variety of books and that is what appeals to me so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your book friends book nerds and if you haven't already comment what's your favorite book let's have a book nerd chat in the comment section see you in the next one